In this tutorial, I'm going to create a uh, landscape using the Sculpt tool. Uh, so I'm going to jump in here to Blender, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and do Add Mesh and create a plane. And then if I press S to scale, and then just do 9, and then press Return, that should give me about the size that I'm looking for. Just kind of pay attention to this guy over here. Uh, I'm going to hide this guy for a minute. And with my landscape, I'm going to go ahead and go into edit mode. So in edit mode, and then I want to subdivide it. So right mouse click, subdivide, and then come down to the bottom here before you click off of it. And I'm going to bump that up to about 70 or 80, um, somewhere along that lines. So that should give me hopefully enough uh, things to work with. So once I've done that, then you can jump into sculpt mode. So come over here to sculpt mode and you can start to kind of play with it and everything. So a couple things about this. Uh, if you want to do this in sculpting mode, some people like to do it here more. Um, I like to have my little bar over here open, press N, or you can just click on that little thing uh, to kind of help you out with the tools and stuff. So, um, but either one of those is probably uh, good uh, to work with. So I'm going to just jump back into this mode. Um, so scope mode. And then right now I'm on this symmetry. So if I start to kind of click and drag, uh, you can see it happening on both sides. So if you don't want that, I'm going to press Command Z to undo. And <clears throat> over here, once again, if you don't have this open, press N on your keyboard to hide and show that. And you want to come down to Tools, and then Symmetry is what you need to get into to turn that off. So if you click off of that, now it's not doing it at all. Um, so now I'm starting to kind of build my landscape, and I usually just start off with this first tool, but there's many other tools that you can kind of play with on there. Um, if you want to increase um, some of the strength and also some of the if um, you want to manipulate it, so right now looks like I'm creating a little bit of a mountain on there. Um, you just kind of click and drag, click and drag if you want to indent things, push into subtract, and you can kind of push things and start to build it that way. Um, and I mean, there's many other tools that you can kind of play with and experiment with. And the best thing to do is just to kind of come in and just kind of click on them and see what they do and see how it's kind of coming together. Some of them are a little bit more extreme and a little bit harder to control like that one. But like if you want some ice spikes or something, um, that could be a fun tool to kind of work with. But it, it works on the direction where you're at on there. So you kind of, kind of pick and choose. Um, you've got some flattening tools that kind of bring things back down. Um, so, but all in all, um, just build a background and and maybe add some color along the way so you can kind of see a little bit more what you're working with. Um, and that's the sculpt tool.